Let me, let me just tell you, I started with the Lung Association in April. I probably um, spent a couple weeks just reviewing what I was doing and then made my first call to David and basically said, um, so what do I need to know? <laughs> and he has been helping me through um, actually the entire event staff, because if you didn't know, David also was the ride director for Big Ride Glacier National Park. And so he has been an invaluable resource for the American Lung Association of the Northwest. And, uh, you know, with having, having him lead you guys down the coast, we knew that everything was going to be um, fantastic and that anything that would come up would be handled with uh, swift poise and great confidence. <laughs> edition for you. Does this have the bathroom hand washing one? It has the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have to Can you explain that. about that? Is this an inside story here? The bathroom hand washing thing. What well, does well, that mean? There was, who is Gabrielle? Gabrielle Beaumont is a friend of mine that, um, that we went to law school together with. And she wrote a weekly, uh, what would you call it, gossip column, I guess you would, in the student newspaper that was quite informative and and as well as a little bit edgy and um, like I said I happen to know Gabrielle quite well and, and Stephanie is a big fan and so I was able to get a copy of those just for her as special thanks for all your hard work. I much appreciate that. That's, so. I'll hold those dear to my heart. <laughs> I will now hand over to David for any last inspirational words. David. Well, I, I just wanted to mention a, a few things. I, you know, I, I have to thank the crew. Thank you. Um, thank you. Some of the things that happened, uh, you probably didn't even realize behind the scenes. Uh, you know, Bill contacting all of the people along the line that helped us with con communication, even though there were gaps and so on. There were people that we don't even know that helped us with the ham radio stuff. And, and Bill was in charge of all that. His <coughs> his confident and able handling of uh, medical situations that came up and, and a special nod to Dr. Chris for helping us with those situations too. Uh, you know, Alan, I, you know, last night, guys, it was a typical night. Alan was working past this time on bikes. Uh, people were having a good time and, and eating and having some libations. Uh, <laughs> And Alan was over there working on mechanical stuff without a complaint, and uh, that's just the way he does stuff, and he solves problems. Uh, Linda I, I has set a absolutely a new standard, not only for lung association rides, but I, I don't think you realize, if you talk to a few of the veteran riders like Jerome and Karen and some of the others that have been on other rides, she has set, a, set the bar very high for all biking adventure rides. You will not find better food. And, and it, it remind, I was reminded the other night when I went shopping with her, she is checking grams of fat and protein on every item she buys to make sure the meals are nutritious. Phenomenal job. I know, like, I, well, I've gained weight. Probably you guys haven't, but I've gained weight. In fact, I was told that some of the uh, some of the, the riders were a little bit upset with Linda because they haven't been losing weight on this. <laughs> uh, so that was one negative, Linda. Uh, I heard that. So Bill and Alan and Linda, uh, I thank you so much for helping to make this ride safe and good. Uh, Brent, uh, Brent and I started never having seen each other, and we really kind of worked like hand in glove. He took care of 
you guys so well preparing you for this and supporting you and answering all your questions and it was just kind of like okay when the trip starts he handed the the reins over to me and I just kind of steered the ship from that point and uh, his support you you probably didn't know we talked every day he gave advice he gave <coughs> guidance he solved problems behind the scenes and Brent thank you so much for that and last but not least, uh, all of you, uh, you know, I, I think, and, and I've talked to a number of you, the big ride is, is a, a big adventure. It is one of the premier rides in North America. I will say that to anybody that, that I talk to. You have done absolutely, now I can tell you, you have done in my opinion, the toughest two-week ride in North America, and I will debate that with anybody. It was a tough, challenging ride, and you have done it. And I'm so proud of each of you. I know that for some of you, there has been some, uh, some epiphanies and realizations along the way, sometimes about uh, physical challenges, sometimes about mental, sometimes about uh, something deep inside. And uh, it, it was just... Uh, it was just very moving for me to see some of those things happening. Um, the other thing that is just a part that we never talk about in the literature for big rides is relationships. You're a family now in many ways and uh, made some special connections and you have, you have learned to support each other, you've learned to celebrate with each other, you've learned to disagree in a in a caring way sometimes not so caring <laughs> uh, but you work through it and that I mean th there are life lessons here no matter what age and you know we have a huge range of ages here I, I challenge you and I ask you to take what you have drawn from this trip with you and just celebrate this you know celebrate some of those tough climbs some of you thought I was nuts when I said you are going to look back on that climb and you are going to dream about it. it that tough climb you did maybe the one you remember most today or two days ago or three days ago and you will dream about it and uh, take it with you and enjoy it you have been awesome and the money we raised for the lung association just is brent it's icing on the cake it, it is it is the topper for everything thank you for letting me be your uh, uh yeah, I, I hesitate to even say director, just kind of be with you, and uh, thank you for that. Thanks, thanks everybody. Body pass. Okay. Brent, do we, when are we going um, oh, like. to... Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, are they still over in my car? Yes. Okay. I I, have, we have some certificates myself, for you. Myself. Uh, that that are signed by the uh, the CEO of the Lung Association and myself, and it's a certificate of remarkable accomplishment. And I'll just kind of circulate around and uh, hand those out while you are enjoying some uh, some uh, you know, s'mores. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I do have to say. Uh, go ahead. I myself have to say that. Yeah. There was a, a very special couple of contributions and one was William Bloxham and that was I have to say that every vegetarian here has to say thank you because we have spent the whole ride on the vegetarian side writing on the contribution of William and not only that most of the vegetables came from his contribution and I have to say one of the best things that I find is that non-vegetarians at the end of the ride find out that they would rather eat vegetarian at least half of the time. Yeah. If they want to all sneak it into their diet, they should also say that's an option for their lifestyle that they should consider. The other thing that happened was that we had someone who was not on the ride full time because they had an injury, and that person was Kim, and she contributed yeah. every exact. Yeah. Every yeah. Auntie Kim. Auntie Kim. Give her a drink. She's <laughs> 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 <laughs>
the gas, she washed the windshield. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, she gave us awesome. all hugs. So Uncle Bill and Auntie Kim.